Hey everybody, this is Tanner, Mr. Creek Crazy, coming at you with another video. This video is for the Yorkie Blog Hop. I'm the host, Mr. Creek Crazy, hosting this blog hop with my whole design team and two special guest designers, Miss Nikki over at Scrap and Navy Wife, and we also have Penelope, Princess Penelope from the Scrappy King Queen's uh, daughter, the princess, and they are going to be part of this hop also, and I'm so excited. And it's Nikki's, I want to say, 11th anniversary also so you can go wish her a happy anniversary also while you're hopping along over to her blog she i'm sure is going to make some awesome yorkie card also and everybody else is i've saw a lot of the design team's cards awesome job for the design team princess penelope i saw her card so i just can't wait for the hop tomorrow it is friday at 12 noon i posted on facebook i was going to start getting into um <clears throat> videos and I'm making a video for this card that I'm doing and I'm using one of my uh, own stamps this is from the Haley set and I'm going to use my corner chopper and I love this one I got this from little paper sprinkles you can give them a heads up over there and um, she's awesome you can check out her Etsy is where I purchased this awesome corner chopper and I'll just show you I'm using all kinds of different paper I'm using paper tray ink all but and I'm using all paper tray ink except for um, this designer paper right here which is like a really like it's like thinner than a regular sheet of paper yeah so it's really not that good a quality paper so it's really easy to corner chop I say I could do like five sheets of this. That's how low quality. It's not low quality. It's just not as thick. But it came in a pack like this right here. So it's the Life at the Beach from the Paper Studio. I'm not saying anything bad about the Paper Studio. It's just they've, um, I don't know. It's just not that um, thick like Paper Stray ink or Stampin' Up or anything. So right here, and I'm not going to corner chop this uh, layer right here because it's not like at the edge of anything. So we'll just keep that in mind. Okay. So then I've learned how to edit from my good friend Sarah over at Pink Cricket. You can go check out her blog, Facebook page, and all her stamp lines. She has some really nice stamps also. She taught me how to edit in iMovie, like really edit and fast forward and do all these cool things and with my stuff. So thank you. And so maybe I'll put some edit. Maybe I'll mess up purposely and then go in and edit this. So maybe I'll do that. Let's see. Okay. So then we're going to put a background on our uh, little image. And I want to use this light blue. Okay. Let's see. No. Get this right here. Okay. So this light blue. And then what I do is take my ATG. this on right here and just put this down right here and ta-da and then ta-da again there you go and then we can take our corner chopper and corner chop this There we go, and it's all corner and chopped up and nice and everything. And then we're going to take some, I don't know which kind of ribbon. I don't know if I want to use this from Esmeralda. It's a really nice ribbon. But I think this time I'm going to use some Hawaiian Shores from pa pa uh, PTI, Paper Tray Ink. Love their ribbon. Okay. And then... We're going to have to put this down right here, right like this, ta-da, put this down, okay, and then here's that. <clears throat> Gosh, you got stuck. Okay. And then you can put this down right here. There's that. And I do really simple A2 size cards. So never think I'm going to do a, like a really intricate card. That's just not my style. I mean, 
mean, I do cards on the Cricut. I'm I'm Mr. Cricut crazy, so I need to do more with the Cricut. But since I've came out with my own stamp line and, you know, all these awesome companies have images and everything, I really like using those. I really do. But, you know, it's whatever you want to do. My What I want to do is not what you want to do. I promise. Unless you're just like a, a awesome person and just do everything I want. I do. If you're that awesome, then thank you. Okay, but anyway, I'm just going to cut this right here. Cut this, cut this. Ta-da. I'm one of those sh cheater people and use everything. No, I don't. I, I, I really, I, I'm a waster. Honestly, I am. Okay, so there's that. Then we can see if we have enough ribbon, on, uh, ribbon right here to do a knot. What is up with these scissors? These aren't, like, good scissors anymore. It's not Tim Holt's fault. It's just that they're old. Okay. Here we go. And then here's that two. Okay. So, here's this. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Sentiment. I can't pronounce that to save my life. And I'm going to see if it works without me having to put a layer on. And let me see here. And if it does, then we won't have to put another layer. But if it doesn't, then we'll just put another layer. Which won't be a problem. Okay. I think my black ink pad is over at my desk. This is where I can edit. Okay, guys, I'm fixing to edit. Sorry about that. I had to get my black ink pad. Okay. And then we're going to... It's a doggy world. And just stamp this right here with the highest quality polymer. It's a doggy world, and I want it to stand out just a little bit more. So, what I'm going to do is get a white sheet of cardstock. Or a piece of cardstock. I don't know what color yet. Let's just not always assume white. Okay. Um, what about this light, light blue? No, that's the same blue. Okay. I have to find... Okay. Okay, so put that down right here. And ta-da, it is. And that's still not really good stickiness, so that's it. But um, thanks for watching, Mr. Cricket Crazy. I hope you enjoyed our card today. And go check out whoever else is on the list of the block. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.